Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, fancy door. We got killing to do. Specifically on this game. Look at this. Look at this. This is qu like quickly becoming one of my favorite games when I'm just in the mood for that power fantasy. When you want to play something and you want to feel like a badass. This is the game. This is the game. It's like the doom of VR. Look how quick that loaded. Look how quick that loaded. Welcome back. I am a friendly pest and today I am playing Everslot. And today I am on the new PC. I'm playing this game on an Oculus Quest 2, streaming it from my PC over virtual desktop. Unfortunately, the save wasn't cloud-based, so I have to start all over. But what a great opportunity to compare the footage from the first video to this one. So I'll probably play through this and maybe mix the footage between the two if I can recover the other one from YouTube. Uh, and we'll see. We're going to see what kind of difference this computer makes. I love this game. I want to play through this game. So we're going to start over on this game. Uh, very excited to see what this means. I've increased the capture settings a ton. Uh, shout out to Halo Newbie. Check out his channel here. Um, I'll tell you what, if, if you like his stuff, right? And I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm saying you probably will. But if you like his stuff, he's got like 1,600 videos. So you're in luck. Thanks to him for helping me improve my OBS settings. Uh, and then thanks to everyone else for tolerating my excitement over this new PC for so long. Feels good to finally have it going. Uh, let's go. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to move a little faster through the game than I did the first time. Probably skip some of the pots and pans, that sort of thing. Uh, we're just going to have fun. We're going to enjoy the day together. So I'm just running everything on high. Oh yeah. Let's take it in. Let's take it in. I can see so much further, so much sharper than I could before. Everything's so smooth. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, this is such a long time coming. This is, I, I promise I'll stop doing this in the days to come. Like, I'll get used to it, but I'm at the honeymoon phase. I just got this thing going. This is literally the first time I'm trying to record an actual video with it. And I'm just absolutely stoked right now. So I apologize for my enthusiasm. It looks so good. All right. It's payback time. having a little bit of a, a tracking flicker this morning, which I think that's my headset. That's not the PC, because I did some playing yesterday and didn't have that. But Quest 2 going to Quest 2, you know what I mean? Alright. Snatch up some boxes. Gonna need this gold eventually. It's a shame, because I was getting far enough in the other save that I was really starting to have some fun. And I'll, uh, I'll talk about that stuff when we come to it. I don't want to spoil anything, but I found some stuff. I actually had a different video planned for today. And I took it down, because the computer came together quicker than I expected. Holy crap. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on fancy door. We got killing to do. Specifically on this game, look at this, look at this. This is qu like quickly becoming one of my favorite games when I'm just in the mood for that power fantasy. When you wanna play something and you wanna feel like a badass, this is the game, this is the game. It's like the doom of VR. Look how quick that loaded. Look how quick that loaded. 
Um, so, if I remember how to play, that's cool. We'll switch to this one. We'll keep using our current sword. Let's go. couple things I've done differently on the capture. I'm using the right eye dominant, but both eyes. I've doubled the frame rate. I've increased the quality settings. So, that gives me more room to use my stabilization software. So this should be easier to see what I'm doing, more comfortable to watch. Slightly better in some ways, I guess. Oh, I don't want to drop that one. There we go. Alright, let's go. Let's move quickly through this. I'm going to get caught up kind of where I was, and I've got a lot of fighting to do to get there. And I'm, I'm not editing these loading screens. Like, that's... That's how quickly I'm moving through this. We'll compare that to the old footage. We'll come back to the machine god. So those that haven't seen this game, this thing's powered by the blood of my enemies. I kill enemies, fills it with blood. I can heal myself by jacking it into my arm, but it also gets some really cool abilities that we're gonna go unlock. There's some progression in this game beyond what I did in the first video. I was confused a little here. I misread the text. I thought I was supposed to hit them with the glove. You don't have to do that. You can kill them entirely with your melee weapon and you still get the blood. So the whole time I was playing before, I was trying to make sure I landed a shot with the gauntlet because I thought that was necessary to harvest the blood. All you gotta do is kill them, bro. All you gotta do is kill them. Kill them with this. And we sacrifice the blood of our enemies to the machine god. Which is the most badass thing to happen in a video game. use that blood to increase our skills. Skills for kills, Agent. Skills for kills. Going warrior, which makes my melee better. Uh, there's also a couple other classes, but so far I think this one, like, you get a pretty tremendous boost in stats when you go warrior, which I like a lot. Door unlock, go forth. Gather more blood. I now have the hand cannon attachment, which uses the blood capsules as well. I'll reboot my quest after this. These weird hitches I'm getting are frustrating. But that's entirely the quest tracking. It's good enough for today. So I need to clean the cameras on the quest again.
I mean, you can give the pest a new PC, but it's still not smart enough to avoid other technical issues. So it is what it is. My channel's not gonna lose that charm of me not knowing what I'm doing, you know what I mean? If you like that about my content, rest confident knowing that I'm still dumb. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Thought I saw a weapon drop. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. I like that. Getting way more weapon drops than I did last time. game. Love this game. I can remember to breathe. The comments told me to breathe. I gotta remember to breathe. It's got some hidden audio files and stuff in it. I'm probably gonna skip those. I think there's one right up here. Maybe I just let it play while I run. If I can do that. Kind of a heart-wrenching story, actually. Let's go. Bothering me of my mother and brother, and sending my father to this unending slumber. Attend to his degrading body, but loving though to should. But as I sit here, alone in this and neglected home, I secretly wonder if be better should the sleep finally be taken. Giant sword fun. Kind of like the smaller one better. Let's take it in again. Ah. Like the anticipation of finishing the build and everything working out. Feels good. Not all the parts were new parts. Like the motherboard and the power supply, I found those in a bargain store, believe it or not. Like a an Amazon return type thing. Went the wrong way. Went the wrong way. Uh, so there was no guarantee they were going to work. And I purchased them a long time ago. I'd had them for months and months. So whenever I put the computer together, the fact it turned on was a tremendous relief. Like, I had a lot of pent-up anxiety. Offer your blood. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna get at least to the point where I was last time. And I'll try to move fast. I'll try to make this happen. I'm probably not even gonna edit transitions in. Grappling hook activated. Isn't that cool? And these switch just by flipping your wrist over. So like this will be grappling hook, hand cannon. Alright, 
we don't have time for pots and pans. I'm too busy kicking ass. I didn't mean to do that. Archer up here. Where'd he go? There's one. Okay. If I remember right, there's some stuff up here. Let's go get it. Okay, just just pots and pans. And this game might not be the best showcase of the new system. Um, this game ran pretty well, even on the old computer. Of course, I wasn't able to capture at this rate. So that's a big difference. And I have turned up the settings, but... Like, this is a very good running game anyway. really care for the sword. I need a better sword. Is that working? There it goes. Quest tracking is getting me. To see my father. There we go. A once strong and courageous man. The great wizard. Hush. Pains me beyond you. I tell him stories of good times long. Durable, huh? Believe that my voice might do whatever terrors haunt him in his sleep. With every grunt or twist of his body, I hope this might be the moment he finds me to hold him in his arms. Oh, I hope I get my face smasher again. In that last run, I had a fantastic weapon. Ultimate power fantasy this game. Feels good. I love this game. Do need a better weapon now. Well, the hand cannon is magic. Every time. Okay. Let's go. Washing the festering sores that cover his body. No matter how hard I try, I can't get him built out of these sheets. I hate him for doing this to me. How much more of this can I endure before I put a knife to his wretched neck and end this madness for good? How could he leave me like this? Please, 
father, my God. This sword is awful. Is that a better one? Kinda. If I can get it. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Now we're back in the fight. friend another wave maybe It's a good game. I said it before. Just unholy amounts of badassery in every direction. And that describes it best. This game is fantastic. If you want a power fantasy, if you want to be a badass, then play Everslot. It is that game. It is absolutely that game. Whew. Let's go. Let's go. Feels good. Other than these tracking flickers, everything's going just flawlessly. Rush your blood. Again. Look at that. Huge improvement. Huge improvement. Door unlocked. Go forth and gather more blood. This is where we stopped in the first video. 
So from here it's new ground, and I got some stuff to show you guys. The door locks behind you, nothing to do but to go forward and explore this lair. And this looks amazing. Let's get us a thumbnail. Oh yeah, that's a good thumbnail right there. All right. This lair is it's the last thing I'll show you today, but it's worth seeing. It's fantastic. When you got a training dummy, right? You can practice on that. Over here, you can save weapons that you want to keep, but you can also buy stuff. Tracking issues getting me here. Hang on. Okay, the hand cannon. Really? Hand cannon at the top. All right, all right, all right. What it is? The hand, the the tracking keeps flickering because the headset's being dumb. Uh, but on the top, you've got your hand cannon, and in the bottom, you've got. The Bolt Slinger, which is like a Gatling gun replacement for the hand cannon. It costs 5,000 gold. Uh, it's longer range, less damage. I want it. We're going to figure that out. We're going to save up enough gold to get that and try that. Over here is a store. Um, so I'm going to switch to my common sword. We're going to sell my common sword. Uh, yep. And you can buy weapons. But I'm going to save up. I want to save up 5k because I want to upgrade the, uh, the Gatling thing, right? And then, here's a grindstone to sharpen swords. You can't use your mace on it, but... You can upgrade the mace here, which I'll go ahead and do. There we go. And that's currently max level, but uh, it goes higher than that. So this is a really cool, like base store type thing right sharpen your weapons buy and sell things make some progression and then up here you stick your hand in this and it opens the dungeon and you go through there you do another run uh, you sacrifice blood to the machine god and then you get better gear again right so it's that's kind of the loop to the game that I've seen so far uh, I'm gonna stop here today one I want to figure out this tracking flicker which I'm absolutely confident is my headset because I played like two hours of Zenith yesterday testing the computer and I didn't have a flicker one time, even one time. So very convinced that that is an issue with the quest today. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this run. I'll, uh, I'll, my goal is to download some of the footage from the first run so that I can compare a few scenes here and there. I won't do that a lot. I'll stick mostly with the new footage. Uh, hopefully you're as excited about this as I am. I mean, you're not going to be as excited about this as I am. I'm, I am excited to almost an unhealthy extent, right? But this is a big step for the channel. The The old PC served me well for like five or six years, um, but it was time. It was time for an update. It was time to retire the old one, move forward, improve the content, improve my experience, and I'm looking forward to see what I can do because of this. You know, it'll be a little less painful to watch my content, hopefully. I mean, like, I'm still gonna be there. So you're gonna have to deal with that, but at least it shouldn't lag and stutter as much as it did before, right? So there is that. This will probably go up. The current plan is uh, either, I think Monday. Yeah, I think I'll put this up on Monday. PC reveal video should go Sunday. I'm gonna try to do the final review for the Bobo uh, A2 headphones on Wednesday, and then Friday, we're gonna see what the radius looks like on the new computer. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. Let's go. Let's go. I'm stoked. Have a nice day.